What do you focus on on the jewel game? Just staking? Yeah, for for me, I'm just staking in the pools and just holding the main token. I'm letting I'm letting people play the games. That's usually how I play, I invest in a lot of these game fight tokens. Is for the most part, I just I'm holding the token, and I'm in the most I'm just trying to be in the most liquid market where I can get in and out. I I uh, typically don't buy that much NFTs inside the games unless it's land, but I'm just actively selling, buying and selling the land and getting out of it. Like you have to be careful not to get too stuck in the NFT side because you can not have the liquidity or the time to get out. So be careful. And then he has a follow-up super chat with how long do you stake your jewel? So currently I don't stake my jewel out at all. I just keep it all liquid. I'm, I'm in some LP pools. Like right, I'm in the crystal jewel pool. I mean the crystal uh, AVAX pool right now. That's the only pool I'm in right now. I just been slowly stacking up jewel or I just use cash to buy some. Um, the yield that you can generate off of staking your jewel in terms of like the longer duration stuff, it's not that long. It's you don't get that much yield because volumes are low right now. But when volumes really start spiking up and people are going crazy over the game again, um, then you the the yields can go up. But like the yields kind of like picking up pennies in front of a freight train for me. So me, I just rather hold the coins and when prices go high, I can take profits. Um, I think one of the best prices to take profits on is just selling it into AVAX. And then you're able to just offboard AVAX back on the, into the main C chain and then getting it off um, to your main wallet from there. And if that was, and if that was uh sounded like gibberish crypto mindsets coming your way.